Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher right here in Auckland, New Zealand. Today, we have got a PayPal request. It is for Andy Barrett. Hey, Andrew, this is my second request and I'm hoping you'll check out Cody Willis. He's the drummer for Big Business, a two-piece, as well as a few other bands, one of them being High on Fire, who you did a review of. But I believe it was with their original drummer. Yeah. Des Kensel, that's the one. Yeah, great drummer. And Andy, you've given me a link here and then you've sent me another message. Here is another video of Cody Willis, just in case you can't do a 14 minute long song on the channel. This one gets right into the meat of the song. The first one I sent has better audio, but is drawn out. Yeah, Andy, you're right. 14 minutes. It's a bit long. That's what she said. <laughs> I didn't say it. She said it. Anyway, this is Cody Willis, big business, just as the day was dawning. I'm going to make myself a coffee and we're going to check it out. I mean, this already, we're 16 seconds in, so much to unpack already. Look how close the crowd is. This is a two piece, Andy, is that right? Man, the, this front row of the crowd, they must be getting absolutely annihilated because this guy is hitting hard, hitting hard and clean. I dig this. And we're, so, two piece, I think it's bass. I'm not hearing sonically sort of. A, a real good uh, read on what's happening yet, but bass and drums. Wow, and we're we're doing seven minute fifty songs. Fascinating. <laughs> absolutely adore this approach it's actually a very uh, lyrical approach really outlining the melody outlining the vocals i guess he's playing different because the instrumentation is obviously so stripped back it's essentially i guess you could think of it as a four piece two vocals bass and drums um although i haven't seen cody singing yet 
Uh, I haven't noticed him singing into his uh, headset mic there. But, I mean, you just got to look at the stick height. You got to look at the even flow around the kit. Seamless flow around the toms. Lefties always looks extra cool. <laughs> Playing drums because they just look different. Uh, uh, there's just so much to like here. Obviously, as you said, Andy, it's not the most pristine quality uh, on the audio. But, man, this footage, the video side of this is absolute top draw we've got multiple angles of the drums too just an absolute beast hard hitting clean so many clean ideas i mean he was getting into like this crazy tom pattern incorporating hi-hats and cymbals and then he'll just wrap it up and button it with like a big flame on the snare and go to a different idea super tidy really really dig this I think he is a single kick player too because you can see his hi-hats chomping away um uh, eighth notes or chord notes however you're sort of measuring the time feel of this song so he's got this uh foot ostinato they're stomping out on both feet just so many cool ideas here To this tom groove you can see he's got this little tambourine um i don't know what what those are called those small tambourines that are attached to the top of a hi-hat jingle something i'm not sure um but so they're obviously trying to stretch it out they're trying to incorporate as many sounds as you can get into a two-piece um you've got everybody on double triple duty i mentioned before with the foot ostinato how he's stomping out eights or quarters however you want to measure it uh, on both feet and I guess with that tambourine on the hi-hats you're getting like a little ching ching on the tambourine you know as you're stomping out those notes so they've really thought about how we can make this uh, obviously very very percussive and full sounding despite being only a two-piece I love this I love this it's so stripped back that you really get to hear and see the vision of what is going on here or what that the vision they want to project it's so cool man this i really really dig this
Andy Barrett, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support of the channel and this awesome pick. Let's talk a little bit about performance <laughs> and uh, how we set up the stage. Let's just let's just start there. These guys are thinking. These guys are really, really thinking. There was a video uh, back in the day. Uh, I was a bit of an Incubus fan. And there was a video going around of them. It might have been some type of unplugged, uh, some type of live performance. And the drummer, Jose Pasillas, he was set up sideways on the stage. And myself and my music friends, we all said, finally, we can see what the drummer's doing from the crowd. Now, often if it's a video, you know, you might get drum cam where the camera might be behind the drummer and, you know, and then you can see what the drummer's doing. But if you're in the crowd, you can't. I mean, you can see a bit, but you can't see the feet. You can't get a good feel for what's going on in the engine room. This, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it with two people. Two people and they got everything right for me. For me personally, instantly big tick for me. Even just a tick for, for the drummer setting up properly, which for me is side on to the band. I've said this to many, many a band that I've played in. Um, do you mind if I set up over here? Oh, why would you want to set up like that? The drummer goes at the back. The drummer goes at the back. Oh, and let me guess, bass, guitar, vocals out the front. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, that's kind of how everybody does it. And, you know, let's do something different. Are there going to be people in the crowd who want to see what the drummer's doing? Yeah, lots of people. Is it going to add to the performance and the interactive nature of a live show to actually get a feel for how hard the drummer's working perhaps. Or even if you're a total geek like me, you know, you might want to see how high off the higher pedal is his foot. Is he bouncing his left foot off the pedal? Or has he got like a steady ostinato going? Or is he, does he not move his left foot much? Or is he heel up, is he heel down? Uh, swivel, uh, slide, heel toe. I want to see all that stuff. That's what she said. And you can't see it from a crowd. That's what she said. So to see it here <laughs> makes me makes me all makes me all happy because these guys are thinking. You know, they're they're squeezing a lot out of the stone with just two people. And I mentioned before that they've thought about the percussive aspect of this. And you know, even just with that little tambourine on the hi hat, you can tell they're thinking, how can we get another voice into the music? You know, if you can control a left foot ostinato, or in his case, a right foot ostinato on his hi-hat pedal, because he's a lefty. Um, if you can control that foot, then you've got a tambourine. And if you've got a tambourine, you've essentially, you could look at it like you've got a percussion player for free. In a, in a way. Not quite, but sort of in a way. Well, you've at least got a, a tambourine player, right? Um... And then you combine that with like a dirty bass tone and vocals and then both of them are uh, doing some vocals. And you've got this really, really busy drumming style, which I adored the whole style. This heavy, clean hidden singles around the kit. It's amazing what you can do with a single stroke roll. <laughs> As you saw here, accented singles around a drum kit. If you know your stick path, if you know how to go clockwise and counterclockwise around a drum kit with singles, and that is something that I take all of my students through, is stick path. Can we get around around a kit um, evenly without stopping, without any disruption to the groove, without any disruption to the time? And then can we go the other way? And now can we washing machine it and go both ways? No interruptions. Um, clean singles around the kit and triplets, sixteenths, whatever. And that's kind of what we had here. We just had this hugely creative groove, accented singles, awesome setups, catching all the hits, 
Um, just top notch. Absolutely dug it. Andy Barrett, thank you so much for the support on the channel again and this awesome pick. Hey, what is up wood choppers? Please do remember original video links as always in the description of each video. Please do go along, check it out and support the artist. If you enjoy my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like button and leaving a comment down below with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon, it's just $5 a month and you will get access to the blocked videos. If you have a reaction request that you definitely wanna get on the channel, the only way I can guarantee that at this point is via the PayPal link and it supports the channel. So thanks in advance. And remember you as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Dromeo. Learn from the world's best drummers and drum teachers. And they've got over 6,000 songs in the database downloadable PDFs for those transcriptions, or you can play along, watch in the player, slow down loop sections. It is truly awesome. Go check it out. 30 days free on me. Guys, until next time, keep chopping wood. Take it easy. Ciao.